explanation with focus, with commitment, you can clear your exam. Revision parts, like I said, you have to, I dedicated like a whole month for revision. The whole month of July and part of June, I was dedicated to just solving questions. And the reason for that is that the more questions you solved, the more you understand the ISACA mindset at first attempt. Like you are, I mean, honestly, you are an inspiration because, you know, to be in a senior level position, having a lot of responsibilities and at the same point of time, you know, you know that you want to, you want to finish this exam by the month of July. You know that new syllabus is going to come and you are very much, uh, you know, focused and you finished the certification in the first attempt. So that's really appreciable. And, you know, what was your strategy? Hello everyone, welcome to CISA This Much. This is Aditya and today we have with us Gabriel who has recently qualified his CISA. Uh, Gabriel, first of all, heartiest congratulations for qualifying CISA. And uh, before, before I ask you any question, how does it feel qualifying the exam you know, in the old syllabus at the last moment? Yeah, thank you Aditya. Uh, thank you viewers. I mean, it's, it's, it's a big lift right because my, my target was like oh i need to complete my caesar exam before the new syllabus because i don't know how the new syllabus is going to look like so i don't even want to like think about it so i just have to come up with a plan to ensure that i i i clear my caesar before the new syllabus uh, come into uh, effect all right. So uh, before we ask you any further question, can you please introduce yourself, your background, and what made you choose this certification, CISA? Yeah, I'm, I'm Gabriel Olawali. Uh, I have over a decade experience in audit and assurance business. Uh, and as auditor, as an auditor, uh, the involvement of IT specialists or my engagements uh, has been a kind of continuous uh, process because I literally have IT auditors supporting my, my team on every of my clients. So on that basis, I was like, okay, let me even have an idea of what, because I have to do a kind of uh, overall supervision of what they are doing and the like. So uh, I was thinking, okay, that would be a Great benefit for me. Also, have a certification in Caesar to others. I mean, that we actually enhance my brand, enhance my career, enhance my um, enhance my professionalism and the likes. So, I think that that's what actually led to me registering for Caesar exam. All right. So. Thanks for letting us know about that. So since you have you have mentioned you have more than one and a half decades of experience in this uh, field. So, you know, my question to you is, you know, and this is something very popular question, which a lot of people ask us, you know, how's the demand of, you know, IT audit uh, field in general and the GRC uh, in North America? So do you do you feel, OK, uh, this certification, because a lot of people say that, you know, GRC roles and audit roles, these are uh, recession proof. Right. So you have a lot of demand. It's I mean, the, 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 the demand is there, there in Asian countries. I want to understand your perspective, you know, since you are in this background since a lot of years, you know, so I just want to uh, know your uh, perspective about this thing. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the demand for GRC uh, continue to be on, on high demand, uh, considering the changing in the environment, right? We are now going to more of IT, IT environment. Uh, literally, you literally do anything without IT, IT knowledge and the like. So irrespective of whether you are involved in uh, <clears throat> uh, some activities or, or the likes, you really need the IT in one way or the other. So having that knowledge, I think is a value hard. 
all right and since you are in a senior level position you know and uh, you might be taking a lot of interviews as well or a lot of candidates so i want to understand like you know uh, like is there any scope for fresher or is it something like i need to have some experience then i should think about the certification or, or or nowadays you know a lot of people they are doing the certification first and then they are getting into this field so like what do you recommend like you know uh, is it fine for a person to you know pursue the certification understand you know about the uh, overall it audit and then uh, think about getting into this field or is it like you know they need to have some experience and then you know after two or three years to decide because as far as i understand that even to get the experience even to get the opportunity nowadays a lot of big four a lot of uh, mncs they do ask for the certification so i want to understand your perspective on this uh, well, I, I don't think there is one way answer to to the question. So it depends on where you, I mean, the, the stage where you have. So for instance, if I use myself as an example, I've been public accounting over a decade. Uh, I don't think of like taking CISA exam for over that number of years, but now I, 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 I have come to the realization that, hey, I've always involved IT auditors on my job, they, they are there. So I think it's right time for me to have my CISA certification, right? So, and again, to, to actually uh, be successful on the exam side, I don't think you really need much of that uh, practical experience, right? So what you just need is to have, make sure you study, make sure you subscribe to the right uh, channel, like, I mean, you guys have done a very fantastic job, CISA, this much. I mean, the materials are so wonderful. I mean, um, straight to the point. Uh, it was very useful for me, I mean, for me to be able to pass this exam. So it depends on uh, individual situation. So that is what I would just say. All right. Thanks for the answer. So my next question to you is how much time do you recommend, you know, for anyone to give in this certification? How much time it took for you and how much time do you recommend? Because I understand that you're also a full time working professional and uh, devoting, uh, you know, uh, hours every day might be difficult for you. A lot of people who are working, they have a very hectic schedule. So Ideally, how much time should a person devote for the, these kind of IT certifications? Well, um, again, like you mentioned, right, if you're a full-time uh, employee, the time you are going to devote might be a bit longer than somebody who is just like coming out of college or universities. They, they may have some time to like focus on Caesar for short period of time and be successful but you as a working class i think you need to come up with is a, a kind of timetable that works for you um uh, in between also you might need to take some ptos maybe some personal ptos that ordinarily you should have used it for vacation and the likes uh you have to use that vacation for the purpose of preparing for the exam right uh because this is not a kind of exam you want to fail right <laughs> a lot goes into it. So for me, for instance, if I use myself as a case study, right? So last year, October, I that was when I, I was like, okay, the syllabus is going to change July, August 2024. I was like, okay, I need to like come up with a plan. How do I navigate between that time and the July period, right? I, I must tell you the fact, the... The work schedule is very demanding. So I don't actually start kind of a serious reading or serious preparation until end of April this year. So I started more of detailed study as of end of April, May period. Then I stumbled on your domain two on YouTube. When I watched the video, I was like, okay, I think I think I need additional resources to prepare for this exam. So that led me to subscribe to CISA, uh, CISA this much and 
I was able to go through all the materials, everything, solve all the questions, all the P and A, the the mini mock test, the mock test, the MCQ blocker series. You know, I ensure I complete everything. Very time consuming during the period. I have to use my PTO as well to prepare. So, but I would say, for me, is just a period of like three to four months preparation. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, I mean, uh, to be very honest, you are really an inspiration. Uh, you have also mentioned that. Uh, it was very time consuming but at the same point of time you had that vision you know right from the month of november last year that i want to start although there were some you know uh, issues in between and you became a lot of serious from the month of april you started working a lot i mean you started putting in more number of hours so what was the overall strategy and like you know any piece of advice you would like to the uh, to give to the csa aspirants who are currently studying a lot of people i know that you know they want to give the exam but somehow they are not in touch with their study since you also mentioned that you had a vision long back but for you also it took some time for you know i mean uh, become uh, very serious now now for you 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 had an advantage of even the experience part and i, I believe even that also that also has helped you a lot so for a person uh, for for people who are still struggling you know i i get a lot of messages that you know we are still struggling to study we can't we can't find time uh, i mean for a person like you who are I mean, honestly, you are an inspiration because, you know, to be in a senior level position, having a lot of responsibilities and at the same point of time, you know, you know that you want to, you want to finish this exam by the month of July, you know that new syllabus is going to come and you are very much, uh, you know, focused and you finished the certification in the first attempt. So that's really appreciable. And, you know, what was your strategy? Okay. Yeah. So the, the first strategy is more of determination is very important uh focus and commitment so you need to be ready to uh devote substantial time you know to practice to read it you know understanding the questions understanding why one question one answers is prevail ahead of the other one because all the answers are correct it's just that one rank ahead of the other so i mean so that's the the place where the question and answer is very important you just have to solve as many questions as possible uh you have to be dedicated like i said focus commitment um you must be ready to to inconvenience yourself right because it, it, it takes a lot of time to read even for you to practice let's say one uh, mock test. You are going to. It's going to take you like over three hours to do just one mock test. And like on your website, for instance, Caesar does uh, Caesar this much. You have like eight mock tests. So that means you calculate four average of four hours times eight. Not to talk of uh, Isaka QAE uh, mini mock test that you have MCQ. The lectures itself, domain one to five. Is just a lot, but it's achievable. That's just the truth. It's, it's very achievable with determination, with focus, with commitment. You can clear your exam at first attempt. And also, don't forget, God factor also is very, very important in everything that we do. Thank you so much, you know, for sharing the you know, your detailed answer. And I really agree with you, you know. As he mentioned uh, very correctly, that you know when you when you start solving the questions, you know you might be knowing everything. You might be having experience. I know everything. When I start solving the question, I feel okay. All the option makes sense. All the option feels right. Now, how to understand? How to you know uh, really know the right Isaka mindset and how to eliminate the incorrect answers? You know, according to the right Isaka mindset. So that requires time to develop. There is no shortcut, as he rightly mentioned. You know uh so uh uh any challenges which uh, you faced while revising because you know since you since you mentioned that four hours for one mock test or you know you also mentioned that you know the video lectures are of huge duration right but you were able to do it did you uh you know re revise like what was the strategy for the revision part 
if you would like to share. Yeah, so 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 for the so for the revision parts, like I said, you have to I dedicated like a whole month for revision, the whole month of July and part of June. I was dedicated to just solving questions. And the reason for that is that the more questions you solved, the more you understand the ISACA mindset. And you will be able to go back to your notes, go back to the lectures and do some revisions. The area that you think, oh, um, like if you take, for instance, domain five, very heavy domain and to require some practical experience with if, if you don't have practical experience, you just have to look for a way out. So <laughs> it's, it's a lot, right? Yeah. So what I do is to like start practicing question and answer early, devote over a month to that, because that is actually very critical, right? Because that way, that way you can go back to the lectures, you can go back to the material, you can go back to uh, Caesar Review Manual, to understand some concepts that you don't understand before. So. All right. Uh, so any last piece of advice you would like to, you know, uh, give to the viewers who are watching, who are thinking to give the exam in the new syllabus, who are still, I mean, since the, the way you are, you know, in your November month, you know, with the vision, any person is watching the video with the same vision, you know, you would like to give any piece of advice. Yeah, I, I would say, uh, have a plan, draw up the plan, uh, work with the plan. Uh, determination is very key. Commitment play a very critical role. You have to be very focused. You also need to read the right materials. Like I said, uh, uh, I think since this much, you guys have done a very great job. Uh, I mean, you just have so many things on your your on your platform that can help any candidate to be successful. So I really appreciate that because that really helped me because I subscribed to your channel, I think May 31st. So I only use your channel for less, let's say two months, less than two months. But I maximized the period and I mean, I, I learned a lot within that two months. And God helping me, I was able to schedule. Thank you so much for sharing your entire journey with us. I hope that you know all of our viewers you know would really have learned a lot. And as I say, a person like him, you know, with a lot of responsibilities, if he is working so hard, you know, like there is no excuse for you know people who are at the fresher level, you know, who are still struggling. Uh, with, the, with their studies you know there is no excuse if he can pass you know anyone can pass because you know the amount of responsibilities he is having we all can't even imagine and it takes a lot of you know um, focus you know to uh, and also uh, what to say uh, a discipline that's very important you know to uh, get into get with this these kind of certifications so thank you thank you very much uh, and we wish you yeah. all the very best for the future yeah, thank you, Aditya. Thank you.